So guys, I get home today and this lady brings me, coming out of this car, I'm like, what is she doing at my house? She brought me this vase full of 24 red roses. And I'm like, who is this from? And look at the card. Dearest Car Carolyn, I can't tell you how honored I am to know that we've got you covered forever. Adore you, love Heidi. Isn't that the sweetest thing? These are so beautiful. And for you guys that don't know, um, I did get Heidi's um, cross tattooed onto my foot. Um, it's called We've Got You Covered, hence the card. And yeah, I actually made a video of that whole experience so if you want to just check out my other videos and you will see hi guys so today i'm going to be showing you my collection of pins and first we're going to start off with some fruit now i'm pretty sure i've told you guys this before but my very first purchase of heidi's was this forbidden fruit and like i say one bite and i was hooked isn't this a beautiful pin this was from a movie event, um, Snow White and the Huntsman, I believe. But this is a really good sized pin. Now, another one I wanna show you, which is absolutely gorgeous, is, is this pair. Look at the detail on this. Another really good size. Looks good. I like to wear my big pins high up, like on my shoulder, or I like them also on a rope, you know, like as a necklace. And check out this lime. How about that one? <laughs> Look how good the green looks on the pink. Just a second here. Doesn't that look good? Hot pink and green. Another really big pin I have that's beautiful is this watermelon. This has to be one of my favorites for my fruits. Look at the detail on here. Look at, look at even how the middle has like different colored stones. Like they're not all just, you know, pink. They're ombre. Love this one. Okay, next up we have a banana. Now look at this. Now, I remember asking Heidi, we put it in the suggestions, like uh, Elizabeth and I, if Heidi would ever make a banana pin. And look, she delivered. And delivered she did. Isn't this cute? And it kind of matches my personality because I am a little bit bananas. Check out these pineapples. This has to be another one of my top favorite pins. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the color of this. Looks like a real pin uh, pineapple. And then of course we have a glammed up one. It's all pearls. But how cute are these? Like, hello. Okay, look at this. Check out these cherries. Like, how cute are these? I love how she's made them different colors for dimension. I mean, Heidi is known for dimension, look. Only Heidi. She makes the best, best stuff. So, so that's just a few of my fruit pins. And next we'll go to from fruit to food. Okay, how about popcorn? Check this little guy out. Isn't that adorable? Watching going to the movies and you got this on your shoulder. Like, hello. <laughs> How cute is this? This is just absolutely adorable. Okay. And hey, what if it's your birthday or you know someone with a birthday? Look at this cute little cupcake. I wore this for my birthday last year. So cute. 
and okay this is kind of a i think i want to wear this this holiday season how about a little candy it's a pretty good size but isn't that adorable she made a couple candies and i only have this one i think i sold one to my friend elizabeth because she really wanted it so and how about a cup of tea would you like a cup of tea look at this little this little uh teapot this is from beauty and the beast isn't this nice look at the colors of these stones like depend where how you hold them they just change color the only thing i'm missing now is a teacup i gotta get a teacup to go with it and how about some honey honey look at this little pin set now this is a set of two so you got the hive with the bees and then you can put him like you can wear this like this and you can have the little bee flying wherever you want him but how cool check them out i'll just give you a little another close-up and then the little bee so cute i know this doesn't match my teapot but look at this little champagne cup with the bubbles how adorable and last but not least how about an ice cream cone these are such cute fun pins especially in the summertime when you just really want an ice cream and no calories i think one of my biggest collections of pins are probably the animals and um, i think that's because heidi loves animals and we all love animals so my first couple of pins i want to show you are my little piggies i got the golden pig which one of my daughters was born in and i do believe my oldest daughter is the regular pig so she was born the year also the year of the pig but look at the floral look at the little stones on this guy such a pretty pig and thanks to francine pigs have become my thing now um she always calls me a heidi hog as you guys probably know so um oink oink okay now to a couple of my movie pins um okay this one is from mary poppins do you remember this guy one of the dancing elephants isn't he cute the really cool thing about these is that she actually got them licensed through disney i don't know if you can see in the back here but yeah like really really cute and then i have also from mary poppins is the little giraffe stuffy look at the detail on this guy so adorable okay i'm going to show you guys too these are a couple of my really unique pins with feathers look at this one now these are on like a magnet so you can actually take it off if you want but i just really like them on like hello like who's this cool person coming in here and then here's another one this one is from another movie um Darn, I wish I was good with these. Anyhow, <laughs> here we go. The bird plumette is what the name is. This also comes off. Isn't this special? Very cool. And we can't forget the famous bike, can we, from Mary Poppins? Isn't this sweet i like the color of this especially on my pink sweater here be really really nice and here's a beauty and the beast pin check her out she's holding she's holding a rose if you look carefully yeah i love i love the yellow i really love yellow you don't see a lot of it really in jewelry i don't think but i love the yellow pieces and here's another one i think is from Beauty and the Beast is, I believe, it's this bow pin, like from Belle. Yeah, I'm sorry if I got my movies mixed up, guys, but you kind of know what I mean, right? <laughs> I hope. 
And we all know the Mad Hatter, correct? Here is the Mad Hatter's hat. Heidi's got her little iconic feather in there. And yeah, just the details and the colors. Very, very cool. You don't see too many hat pins that are actually hats. Here's a couple more birds for you. This one is called, I believe, Winging It. Look at the stones on this. Another, another one that looks really good on pink. And one of my huge pins. Look at this guy. This parrot. Isn't this fabulous? This would look really good on a coat. Like on the lapel of a jacket. I've worn this before and like a few times and every time I wear it, somebody has to come up to me and comment. Because, well, look at it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And another bird pin I have. This one would be really cute uh, for this coming Christmas season with this little red face and the gold. Can't beat gold. It's one of my favorites. How about Chic Chic? Look at this pin. This one is, whoa. <laughs> the dimension of it is unreal. Yeah, I think Heidi made this in a couple of versions in a necklace. Very, very cool. Another very, very cool one is this cat's. I think it's called cat's pajamas, but I might be wrong. But look, look at this guy. This one is huge. This one came in a couple of necklace versions and colors, but isn't this isn't this amazing? Only Heidi. So I didn't realize how many pins I actually have and how long this video was taking me. So um, I'm going to make this video into two parts. So this is part one and I hope you join me for part two. Thank you for watching.